Children have some fun while also learning about the exciting STEM fields. Here to explain is Jan Johnson and Cherie Stokes, along with Pike Road student Darius Johnson. Family Fun STEM Night is set for next Friday. What can people expect? So it's going to be an awesome time. Uh, we'll be at Tuskegee University at Tompkins Hall, and we'll be bringing in a number of vendors where students will have an opportunity to expose themselves to different STEM activities, uh, but a great time for all students, ages, and grades third through eighth. Darius, you were volunteering at this year's event. You have attended it in the past. What did you gain from going? Well, from these events, it really just ignited my love for STEM and science, and also helped me pursue my career path. And I really want to be a biotechnological engineer when I grow up. He's sharp, you can tell. Yes. And that's what, and we want to expose more students to STEM and let them see the opportunities that are available out there. What do you hope that the students get from this? Well, honestly, I hope they get an opportunity to look at the different experiences we have at the events. We've got app development, which will help you take your ideas and transform those into mobile development. We have AR, VR, which is exciting. You get to immerse yourself into a virtual reality world. We have coding, which is programming. They get to go through computational techniques. Robotics is exciting. You get to build your own robot and actually get to program it to do exciting tasks. And then we have a science lab also. You get to go through science experiments. And finally, it's just about sparking that curiosity. Come bring your curiosity. It's never too early and it's never too late. We want you to learn about new technology. Who would you encourage to come out? Honestly, I would encourage everybody. Um, it's not just about young students. Um, we have a number of students that we always like to talk to. It's never too early. Third through eighth grade is great, but with Darius, he's been coming to these events with me since before he could really walk. So I see y'all have the same last name. <laughs> So what's the relation here? He's my son. I know you're so proud. I, I am very proud okay. of him, yes. What do you want to do? What, what's your future include? Really, I really want to be a biotechnological engineer. I think he can do it. I know he can do it. Absolutely, absolutely. When you hear students like Darius and, and they have a plan for their future and they're excited and they find this fun, what does that do? Oh, it's great. Uh, it makes us feel good from a community. It shows us that we're building students and we're building STEM students and future STEM professionals. But it also gives us an opportunity to look across and say, how about our workforce? And now it's a competitive workforce that we're able to build. And this is about building it not only in Montgomery, from Montgomery to Tuskegee to Auburn. So this is all our entire I-85 STEM learning ecosystem. And we know building that workforce is so important and our lawmakers have made that a focus the governor yes. has made that a focus right. uh, this year mm -hmm. and they're having fun while learning and it right. teaches them that this can be fun right. education can be fun absolutely how do students need to register so you can register online so uh, there's a flyer that's available you can go to techmgm.com uh, the flyer is there it is a free event and we'll provide dinner at the event too oh dinner for the entire it's free family and you get dinner yes. i mean that's that's a win win mm -hmm. right there All right, give us the details one more time when and where is it so it is on Friday, April 26th. It is at Tuskegee University at Tompkins Hall from 5 to 7.30. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for joining us, all of you. Thank, thank you. you. You have thank a bright you. future ahead. Thank right. you.